Since 27th November, the Bharatiya Janta Party in Assam has demolished over 400 homes in the Amchung area near Guwahati. Now, these homes belong to the working class and poor peasants from various marginalized communities of the state. Today, over more than 20 organizations have come together to protest against the brutal eviction. It's not only a case of forceful eviction, but how they try to really frame it in a very communal framework. Where they say that those who are in Bangladesh are all Bangladeshi, those who are all illegal migrants. And we are seeing that when the BJP government came to Assam, the people who came to Assam, the people who came to Assam, the people who came to Assam, where they were trying to say that all these Muslims who are there, especially the Bengali-speaking Muslims. And this is not a separate incident. Uh, this type of incident is happening uh, across the Nordis and like uh, most of the corporate houses entering the Nordis uh, places and trying to uh, like appropriate the resources. When the Narendra Modi was the chief minister of Gujarat, he categorically mentioned to exploit the resources of the uh, Nordis. This eviction happened in the name of protection of the environment, but it's not actually the thing that is seen. The actual thing is that they try to uh, give this those land to the corporate houses. So they are just like using the name of the environment. Actually, uh, the land belongs to people that stay here. <laughs> environmental issues are raised only when the eviction is regarding poor families. There are almost 700 families that have been evicted right now in Assam and uh, a lot of them in fact have migrated after the floods in Assam. They have not declared anything of that sort as to where these families are supposed to move. They have just destroyed their homes and the kind of force that they have taken, you know, to take 2,000 uh, military people, to take elephants, tear gas shells, where, you know, live bullets have been fired and people are injured. This kind of forceful, the brutality of this eviction itself should say that, you know, basically they are giving us a message that nothing is going to stop. These people say, have been staying there for like from generations. Schools have been there from like from the 1960s. Uh, this basically temples and na what we used to call in Assam is called Namghars, Masjids, everything are developed from, like, from the 1960s. Class 10 uh, exam is coming on this, coming this uh, February. These guys, uh, these uh, students, they don't have their schools now. They will first arrest our all the, our leaders. Uh, first of all, what they did, they put uh, Okil Gogoi under NSA. Then when the other leaders like Vedanta, Dhojo, Gopi, Sokya, uh, Gopi Sokya is like a um, person who is um, uh, above 60 years, okay. They just went to um, meet those people, evicted people. But the government, what they did, they just catch them and hold them up in a jail. They have been sent for like 15 days in judicial custody. They are trying to create a uh, state of fear among the cadres of our organization. They shot them my this country belongs to the people and the majority people of the country living in a very pathetic and poor condition. So if the uh, uh, government is representing the actual people of this country should be act in the favor of the poor, not to act in the favor of the corporate sector. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no.